As they were speaking to us earlier, Aaron and Jenny mentioned that Aaron's brother was ordained a deacon this past Saturday, Deacon Anthony Hollowell. He was one of seven men who were ordained deacons at the Archabbey Church of St. Minerid this past Saturday, six for the Archdiocese of Indianapolis and one for a diocese in India that we have a cooperative relationship with. And for the Hollowell family and for any other family who has the opportunity to celebrate an ordination and then just a few weeks later of marriage in that family, it's a great opportunity to put those two sacraments and vocations next to each other and to think about what they have in common. Sacrament of marriage and the sacrament of holy orders are very similar because they're both about laying down your life for someone else. Aaron and Jenny, as they prepare for their sacrament of marriage on May 30th, they're preparing to give their lives to each other. After May 30th, their lives will not be their own. Aaron will belong to Jenny and Jenny will belong to Aaron. And they will live for the other and they will sacrifice for the other, and they will love the other and put the other first. Those seven deacons who are ordained on Saturday and who, God willing, a year from now will be ordained priests, their lives are not their own. They have laid their lives down for the service of God and the church, now as deacons and a year from now as priests, saying, I want to love and I'm called to love and to give to others, not for myself, not to gain anything for me, but to be able to serve and love others. The values and the virtues that you learn and you teach and you witness to in the Promise to Keep program are all about living not for me, but living for others. Loving not just yourself, but loving others. And those very same things that would make you a good husband or wife or good parent are the same things that would make some people make you possibly a good priest, a good religious sister, or a good religious brother. That generous love, that giving, and honesty, and chastity, and purity, compassion, The question becomes, how do we live that? And how do we figure out the way God is calling us to live not for ourselves, but for others? How do we figure out the particular way that God is calling each of us to give and to serve? Pope Francis has some ideas, as he does about most things. Pope Francis once suggested that the way we can figure out where our lives are going is to do three things. Prayer, sacraments, and service of others. To pray, to grow in our relationship with God. To stay close to the sacraments, especially Eucharist, reconciliation, to be nourished by Christ's body and blood, to receive forgiveness for those times when we have failed, the mercy that God offers to us, and to serve others, to live in a way that puts someone else before me. And when we do that, when we pray, when we stay close to the sacraments, when we serve others, we slowly and gradually grow in holiness. And as we grow in holiness, God also shows us the vocation that he's calling us to. Marriage, religious life, priesthood, diaconate, single life, whatever it might be. The witness that you are, the example that you are to one another, to the younger students you encounter, to our church and our community, that witness and that example is preparing you for lifetimes of holiness and love and service. God is calling each of us to become holy and to serve him in particular ways. Stay close to prayer, and to sacraments, and service of others, and you will discover the way God's calling you to follow him.